Imagine being able to search a database with billions of entries and finding exactly what you need almost instantly. Welcome to the cutting edge of quantum computing, where Grover's algorithm is poised to transform how we solve complex search problems faster than ever before. This isn't just theoretical either. It's real and it's happening now. Today, we're going deep into Grover's algorithm, the quantum leap in computing that could revolutionize everything from cryptography to data mining. So guys, hello and welcome back to QuantumFi. In today's video, we're diving into what is Grover's algorithm and why it's revolutionizing quantum computing. Let's get started. Grover's algorithm, developed by Love Grover in 1996, is a quantum algorithm designed for searching on unsorted database. Traditional algorithms would require 0, n operations to search a database with n entries. Grover's algorithm, however, can achieve this with just o square root of n operations. This quadratic speed up might sound modest, but when dealing with large data sets, think billions or even trillions of entries it becomes a game changer. Grover's algorithm leverages quantum superposition and interference to increase the probability of finding the correct result in fewer steps. Here's a breakdown of its core steps. Number one, initialization. The algorithm starts by placing all qubits into a superposition of all possible states using Hadamard gates. If you're searching through a database with n entries, this creates a superposition where each entry is equally likely with an initial amplitude of 1 to the square root of n. Number 2. Oracle Implementation The oracle is a crucial component that identifies the correct state by flipping its amplitudes phase. This phase inversion marks the target state without revealing it directly, setting the stage for the algorithm to amplify its probability. Number 3. Grover Diffusion Operator After the oracle marks the target state, the diffusion operator is applied. This operator reflects all state amplitudes around their average, effectively amplifying the probability of the correct state while reducing that of the incorrect ones. Grover's algorithm operates with two critical quantum operations, the reflection on the mean and the inversion of the marked state. These operations work together to iteratively amplify the probability of the correct answer. The process is probabilistic, meaning that repeating the algorithm can further increase accuracy, ensuring that the desired result is found with high probability even in large data sets. Number 4. Repetition and Measurement These steps, oracle and diffusion, are repeated approximately pi divided by 4 to the square root of n times, after which the quantum state is measured. This repetition ensures that the probability of measuring the correct state is maximized, typically close to 100% for large n. The practical implications of Grover's algorithm are vast. One of its most significant applications is in cryptography. Many encryption schemes rely on the difficulty of brute forcing keys, an O-N problem classically. Grover's algorithm reduces this to O times the square root of N, effectively having the bit length security of symmetric key algorithms like AES. For instance, breaking a 128-bit key with classical brute force would require 2 to the 128th power of operations, but with Grover's algorithm, it could be done in 2 to the 64th power operations. Still formidable, but within reach of future quantum computers. Beyond cryptography, Grover's algorithm can also revolutionize data mining, optimization problems, and machine learning. Consider a massive database used for fraud detection. A classical search for fraudulent patterns might take weeks, but with Grover's algorithm, it could be reduced to days or even hours. Despite its promise, Grover's algorithm isn't without limitations. It's primarily effective for unstructured search problems, where there's no inherent organization to exploit. For structured data, classical algorithms like binary search remain more efficient. Moreover, the practical development of Grover's algorithm is currently limited by quantum hardware where quantum computers require a large number of qubits to achieve significant speedups, and maintaining coherence over many iterations is challenging. Current quantum systems, such as IBM's 127 qubit Eagle processor, are still in the early stages of being able to run complex algorithms like Grover's at scale. As quantum hardware advances, the capabilities of Grover's algorithm will continue to
to expand. Researchers are exploring ways to reduce error rates, increase qubit coherence times, and improve the efficiency of quantum oracles. These advancements could make Grover's algorithm a practical tool for a wide range of applications, from drug discovery to artificial intelligence. For example, in the healthcare industry, the ability to rapidly search vast genetic databases could lead to faster and more accurate diagnoses, personalized medicine, and more effective treatments. Similarly, in logistics and supply chain management, Grover's algorithm could optimize complex routing problems, saving time and resources on a global scale. And that's it for today, guys. If you enjoyed the video, hit like and let us know in the comments what you want to see next. Don't forget to subscribe to stay quantified. More exciting content is coming soon, so stay tuned.